Did you know that the Los Angeles Lakers just helped Donald Trump win the presidency? Well, not really, unless you consider the spurious relationship between the team and the presidency. Since 1952, if the Lakers are playing in the finals during an election year, the Republican candidate has won. Except in 2008 when President Barack Obama won. Still, 89% accuracy rating. That's interesting. Or what about the Washington Football Club? Every election from 1940 to 2000, if the team lost their final home game before election day, the party in power lost the White House. Now in 2000, they did lose their final home game, so George W. Bush winning did make sense. However, he lost the popular vote, so this rule was broken. And then in 2004, the team lost their final home game again before election day, and Bush won, so the rule was very broken. Also, the rule hasn't worked since then, so this rule is super broken. However, it's still interesting. And we can't forget about the Spirit Halloween Mask Index. Since 1996, whichever candidate sold more masks won the election. Now here in Fort Worth, Texas, the election is decided by election glasses. The Flying Saucer Drought Emporium has predicted the election correctly since 2004. We do commemorative glasses all year long, Father's Day, Elvis's birthday. 2004, we decided we were gonna have a uh, election glass and it worked, people went crazy. Of course, this year we couldn't pass it up. The only problem is COVID this year has skewed the numbers somewhat because the Dems don't want to go out like the Republicans do. We have had a really onslaught of Republican activity getting the Trump glass this year. We're not certain that we're going to be accurate this year. If Biden wins, eh, we'll miss it because right now Trump's leading. And in Hatboro, Pennsylvania, Lochelle's Bakery has used these cookies to accurately call the election since 2008. This year, it's been literally uncontrollable. With those challenges, you have to look at it like, okay, well, we're succeeding right now. We're still in a pandemic. We're still employing people. So the positive definitely outweighs the, the negative. Where are you guys from? Oh, we're from New Jersey. New Jersey. And tell them how long it took you to get here. Over an hour. Everyone in line has been pleasantly happy. They they talk to each other. In in line, it's not about Republican or Democrat. It's truly just about the cookies. In their eyes, like they're voting almost. Like they're standing in line, they're voting, they feel their cookie counts, they feel that they have a voice, so they're buying a cookie. They I think a lot of them as well are happy to support a small business that's still open and thriving because seven and months plus ago we didn't know what was going to happen to our business but why even pay attention to any of these methods why do we look at these arbitrary indicators these fantastic coincidences do we really believe a cookie a glass a mask can really predict these outcomes are we so desperate for answers that we will take any data set put in front of us as a sign from the future? Is this bad smell that I'm smelling the inside of this plastic mask? Or is it my breath? Maybe it's not because we want to know. We want to feel. We want to feel like we know what's coming. We want to feel safe. We want to feel anger. We put so much of ourselves into the outcomes of these elections that it's no longer about only facts. It's about emotions. Emotions what we care about more than anything. We'll take anything as a positive or a negative. But deep down, we realize we won't know the truth until election night or with how 2020 is going days later, maybe even weeks. Honestly, there is a slight chance it'll be at least a month or two. <sighs> Have a good election day.